Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced dialogue system. This video was requested, you can just comment down below and I'll make the video. So, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to bring in one, only if you want one, but two is, is designed for multiple like more characters is this is what this is designed for so you want to bring in your characters and you just want to give them a name right so we have them in the workspace inside of them you want to have a proximity prompt which you can just add to their model and then you're going to want to add a script here's the script you want to add now keep in mind this is for free in the description you can just go you can get it you can get all the ui for free if you don't want to copy all this down but you can also copy it so here it is once you've done that you can customize the proximity prompt however you want if, for example what key you want it to press to interact or how long you want it to hold for i've got 0 0.3 but you can put it to whatever you want now that we have that we can close it and the next script we're going to have our ui first off which this is a screen gui and in your screen UI, you want to add a frame and make sure that everything is named exactly as I have it or else this will not work because the script is asking for these for these names. And if you don't have a name to that, you won't be able to find it. So we have a frame inside of a screen GUI and then we have a viewport frame. And then inside your viewport frame, as you can see, I've added this is not necessary, but it's for customizing. And here, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just show you. Uh, here we go. So as you can see, this is where our character is going to be displayed. And this is the frame where everything is held. And then we have our little button here, our continue button. Actually, I should extend this to here. So that whenever they click in this region, uh, it, will, it will like go to the next line of text. And we have the text that's going to display. Should I extend that? Cool. And then we just have their name, which this name is going to be set to whatever this is, like whatever the name of the model is in this case. So once you've customized it, however you want, like this, you're gonna go to your screen UI and you're just gonna disable it, just like that. Now, we do have a script in starter player script right here. You wanna insert a local script to here. Ignore this for now, I'll explain it later. But this is gonna be our main script and this is a long script. So as you can see, I've added uh, some things up here for easy customization if you've just taken the model from the description. But, which I will explain in a bit, but if you are copying it, I'll just go through it really quickly. You can take a look, you can pause the video. Perfect. So, for the customization, up here we have the text time. What this does is when the text is like writing out it goes like one letter at a time basically if you want to increase the speed you have to make this number smaller so if i do this it will be twice as fast by adding a zero but i would i would keep it like this because it's a nice natural pace then we have our typing sound so whenever a character appears it will play a sound which is going to be you have to add your sounds to the local script so you, i can show you how to do this so, oh, that's not what I wanted. If we head over to the toolbox, right? And we just go audio. We can uh, search click, right? And then we have all these little short clicking sounds. And you just want to click insert. And then we have this one click to down. And you can just change it by going script dot click to down dot dot play. Just like that. Oh, no, 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 sorry, not dot to play, just script dot click to down, and it will play that sound whenever uh, it types. So now you know how to change it, let me just change it back because I like this one much more. But oh, once you know how to change it, the interact sound is when you click on click to continue, it will play this sound, and the proximity prompt trigger is when you hold E or whatever key you've chosen, it will play this sound. So that's how you can customize it. In replicate storage, you need to add a module script, okay, called character dialogues. Actually, I don't, I don't believe this actually matters, but yeah, this 
it goes in replicate storage it's character dialogues and basically this is what's gonna tell the like tell them what to say so this, this allows you to add as many characters as you want so i'll show you right here so right here we have noob which connects to the noob and then we have pro which connects to the pro and these are the voice lines and the order they'll say them in now i'll, I'll, I'll explain to you how to add more so let's say you want to have more than just two right yet this is very important you have to put a comma here and go down one and let's say you want to put like uh master you know and then you say master is equal to uh and you have to open squiggly brackets go down and then quotations and you can say um you uh aren't you noob you noobs aren't as powerful as i am right and then you can just put a comma every, every time you want to add a line you have to put a comma except on the last line so you see we have a comma here a comma here but on the last line we don't that's how it's going to work so you wish you were as powerful as me no comma and then of course we have to have a character called master but we don't so this won't actually do anything so i can just go on ahead and remove this but that's how that's how you would add more but make sure it's the name of the model and uh yeah that is how it works i can just show it one more time if you're wondering you see i'm gonna hold e plays a sound a little animation goes up plays text sound click to continue shows their name right here noob which is the name of their model and shows a little viewport frame of them yeah so you can see it all works just fine and then this works and yeah if you need help very comment down below but um this should work just fine and uh, if you have anything that you would like me to make a video on you can comment it as well and i'll make it so yeah thanks for watching